Welcome to the Trend Micro Deep Security video series. My name is Nick Russo, and I'm a customer service engineer on the hybrid cloud support team. In this video, we're going to continue to discuss scoping your environment for the deep security platform. We'll be covering network communication for deep security, including the ports and directions of that communication. We'll also cover servers that require a proxy to communicate with the internet and other parts of the network. There are four main port numbers used by the on-premise deep security platform. The Deep Security Manager has two main ports that can be configured during the setup. By default, port 4119 is used for accessing the Deep Security Manager web service, and port 4120 is listening for agent heartbeats. The Deep Security Agent is listening on port 4118 for manager-to-agent communication. The Relay Server, where agents will connect to for downloading updates, is listening on port 4122. Therefore, servers running a Deep Security Agent should be able to connect to the Deep Security Manager on port 4120, and also connect to port 4122 on the servers running the relay service. I've included a diagram here of the port connectivity and directions in which they communicate. For customers using our Deep Security as a Service product, the port communication relies mainly on port 443 to app.deepsecurity.trendmicro.com. There's a document listed in the video description that includes a full listing of ports to consider and URLs and IP addresses of other outside services that Deep Security may connect to. For further connectivity testing, you can use Telnet from one component to another using the ports configured for Deep Security. For example, if I Telnet from my Deep Security Manager server to a server running an agent on port 4118, I should have a successful connection with a blinking cursor in the command prompt. To protect computers that require a proxy to access the internet, Deep Security Manager, or relays, you need to configure the Deep Security Manager with the proxy server's address. Under Administration and then the System Settings, I'll configure the proxy address. The manager will provide this proxy address to the agents, and after applying the proxy server to your manager, you'll adjust the primary security update proxy used by agents, appliances, and relays setting to point to the new proxy. After adding the proxy, you'll also have an option to add the proxy server to the deployment script for use with future new machines. If you have any questions about scoping your environment, especially on how to protect and update machines behind a proxy, please reach out to our support team and we'd be glad to help. Thanks for watching.